Hello and welcome to our short range services base here in the UK. Big thank you to all those around the world that have subscribed to this channel. Um, as I promised you, I will show you everything that I've learned about the Nissan Navara and the Nissan Pathfinder engine. So today I'm going to show you how to bolt a cylinder head onto an engine block, which is got to be done properly. If you don't do it properly, you're doing the job twice and taking the cylinder head back off to make sure that you do it right. So I'm going to show you a few pointers on what to look out for while bolting a cylinder head on. Right, once you've removed the cylinder head, you've got to do the prep work for re-bolting the cylinder, uh, cylinder head back on. As you can see, I've sanded all the old gasket material off there, so it's lovely and clean, You're looking for no bits of debris, there's nothing sat on the pistons, and it's all lovely and clean. So there's two location dowels which hold the gasket in place and stop it from slipping. So, there you go. Right, first thing, before you bolt the cylinder head on, important factor is you've got to RTV around the, the timing plate. Now it's very important that, particularly here in this area here, you do not over silicon. Because if you do, you will just block that oil gallery and that'll make, that'll stop the, end, the tensioner feeling full of oil and it'll just rattle. So you'll have to take it all off, desilicon it and do it again. So it's another head gasket and it's just grief that you don't want to go through. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place the cylinder head on. Oh, let's, let me show you this before we move on. When you remove a cylinder head, you should have four perfect carbon circles. As you can see there, this is where a head gasket has blown. And this is, uh, Danny's from Manchester and we've had to take that off and sort it out for him. So that's what we're doing today. Now, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna lift the cylinder head on. And like I said, one of the important things that I do is when we lift the cylinder head, is where the location dowel is, you look down the hole. So you can try and locate this a little head because it can be actually quite fiddly and even more so if you're doing it with the engine still in the car because um, your bulkhead's right there so you've got to tilt the cylinder head like that and slowly lift it down and that's what I'm on about with it all the silicon in because you can scrape all the silicon around that oil gallery so now that we've lifted that on lovely another top tip for you is I get interrupted a lot during the day while I'm working away. So what I do is, is there's, there's a certain pattern that you need to bolt the cylinder heads down. So I, on the actual holes, I put the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six. So in that way, you're not doing either a bolt more than what you should, and or if you get interrupted, or a bit like me sometimes, my mind can wonder because I do the same thing day in and day out. Um, so that's a top tip for you. Right, this, this sequence on the cylinder head walls. There's 18 bolts in total. Right, so, first torque setting for the Nissan Navara 05 to 59 plate is 39 newton meters. So, a quick look show you. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention, your copper grease, both sides of the washer and the thread of the bolt, so you get a nice equal torque setting. Right, now if you were to follow auto data, you would be doing 180 degrees now, now that's a mistake. What you need to do is you need to go back to bolt number one, watch this, and make sure that everything's set at the torque setting. So I go around three times just to make sure that I know 100% that every bolt is set to the correct torque setting. 
So now we'll move on. The next stage is 180 degrees on. Now this whole process takes about 20, 25 minutes normally. Now I'm not gonna bore you to death and do a 20 minute video. So I'm just gonna quickly show you bolt one and two. Yeah, so this is 180 degrees. Once you get a green light, that's absolutely perfect. Good old snap on machine, that. Right, next setting, remove 360. That's right for tighty, left for loosey. Undo all 18 bolts. 360 degrees. It's a full circle, so just like that. So there you go, undo all 18. Then it's torque back on. Torque back on at 39 newton meters. Yeah, again, because it's a multi layered steel gasket, you do all 18 and then do it again, check again. Yeah? Then, your next setting is 90 degrees. Yeah? So you do all 18 bolts at 90 degrees. And then you've got another setting, another 90 degrees. So you do all 18 bolts at 90 degrees. Then, replacing your camshafts. Now because your engine's set at TDC, when you place your camshafts in, you look at these two front lobes there, And these two, so you've got two going that way, two going that way. And when you put your caps on, this is very important. I get a phone call about this all the time. Is you can't force these bolts down. You've got to equally work them down. What will happen? You can easily snap the camshaft and you can easily snap a cam cap. Now don't worry if you do do any of that, we send parts all over the world, so we've stocked every single engine part that you could ever imagine. Camshafts, bolts, you name it, you need anything engine-wise for your Nissan Navarro or Nissan Pathfinder, please get in contact with us on 01274 663 Email westyorkshireengines at gmail.com. Subscribe to the channel.